my name is Kelly from Karma and Kismet and I'm so excited that it is finally okay and acceptable for me to turn on my fireplace, get a cup of coffee and just be cozy during this time of the year. I absolutely love the fall and if you are a Disney fan like me, you're probably looking for ways to incorporate some Disney magic into your decor. If this is your first time checking out Carmen Kismet, make sure that you hit that subscribe button below because there is a ton of magic on my channel. I'm always showing different ways that you can incorporate some Disney into your everyday life, be it through DIY projects, art, your home decor, fashion, whatever it may be, this is all here. So when it comes to seasonal decor, I am very specific about not spending too much money because I'm trying to save for a house and for a wedding, so every dollar counts. When I was looking at what I was gonna do in my apartment this year for the fall, I had to think about what I could kind of repurpose or what I could find in the dollar store to make into something that was a little bit more magical. So I'm gonna show you guys a few of the projects that I've done. All of these projects are going to be linked below. They are actually um, in my blog. So if you go to my website, you can check out how to do all, the, all these, all the different steps for that. This first DIY is probably one of my favorites, I have to say. It's this DIY Mickey ghost pillow. So if you have gone to Disney World, Disneyland, or been to the Disney store really in the past probably two years, you've probably seen a pillow very similar to this. So it's this kind of felt material shaped in a little Mickey ghost shape and then has this blanket stitch here. So I decided that I didn't want to spend $30 for this pillow, but I really wanted it. So I created this one on my own. It was probably about $25 to do. And I have all the steps actually in my blog post, which I, again, will link below. Um, if you don't know how to do a blanket stitch, I will also go through that. I'm going to link a video for you guys in case you need directions on how to do that, because this is a really useful stitch to learn. Um, but it is a little bit different than probably what you're used to. There we go. Um, but this is so cute to just place on your couch or even if you have um, some area that like your pet stays in, anything like that is really cute. It adds a little bit of magic. So this next DIY is gonna be a lot less intense than the Mickey Ghost. Mickey Ghost is adorable. I love that pillow, but it definitely is going to be something that uh, is gonna be a little bit more time consuming than the other DIYs that I'm gonna show you guys. So this second one is a Mickey candle holder, um, a little pumpkin, and this is all, again, linked right on my blog, so I'll link that below. Um, but basically what it is, is this candle holder that I got from the dollar store for, of course, a dollar. And then I used some um, chalk paint and um, some fabric to cover these ears, which are actually wooden O's that I got from Walmart. Um, and then I put a little tea light in here. Um, and all of the materials for this are linked in the blog if you wanna grab these. This is still available in the dollar store as of today, which is the first day of fall, so happy fall. Um, and these tea lights are also, you can get them from uh, the dollar store as well. So you could really do this whole project for probably about five dollars depending on what you have in your house as well i was able to just grab fabric that i had left over and paint so this cost me about two dollars for the o's and the mickey um candle holder or i'm sorry the pumpkin candle holder but this is a really inexpensive and super fast diy that you can do and it looks adorable on your mantle place on a table anything if you're hearing that noise in the background i'm sorry it's my cat <laughs> He is such a devil, but um, these are really great to just have around the house and you can make multiple of these different colors, all that. This next DIY project is going to be really for people that have a scan and cut or Cricut or silhouette, something that you can cut out vinyl on. So this is a piece of wall decor that I love to put up in the fall time because I love this little mini. Um, this is actually a design that I created and I have a t-shirt for it on my shop, so I'll make sure to link that below. But I did this specifically just for myself. Oh, sorry, my little one is trying to get involved in this. So <laughs> we have this hanging up in our apartment um, at the door when we come in uh, during the fall. And what I did was just 
create my design, I upload it into the Canvas workspace that you have for your scan and cut. And then I created an SVG file out of that that I was then able to cut out on vinyl using the scan and cut. So once I had that cut out, basically what I did was just use a um, the heat press that I have, the Cricut heat press, and was able to heat the vinyl onto the wood. So this is a really great project to do. Um, don't include kids in this process because of the heat, I would just say, but they can definitely be a part of designing this and getting it all set up. Um, but this is such an easy craft to do, and you could literally put anything on there so if you want to put a pumpkin with your family name something like that this can easily be changed out for the seasons because you'll see that on this side of mine i actually have a happy holidays one so i use both sides of this and i have this sitting up um, as we come into our uh, apartment I don't think a house will be complete during the fall without a bunch of pumpkins around it. So I, because I have cats, I don't have any live pumpkins. Um, all of mine are faux just because of their safety. But what I wanted to do to make it a little bit more magical was actually paint pumpkins. So I decided to paint mine like the Disney uh, Instagram walls. If you know them, we have the toothpaste wall, the bubblegum wall, and the purple galactic wall so these i just did them freehand but you could definitely kind of trace something on these um get creative with it maybe use some character faces on it something like that to really make it personal to you and what's going to fit in your home so if painting a pumpkin is a little bit extreme for you there are definitely other ways that you can diy some pumpkins to bring that disney magic into it so these are decoupaged um, maps from Magic Kingdom that I actually just decoupaged right onto this pumpkin that I got. This was a pumpkin that I got, I think for a dollar in the Dollar Tree. Um, and it may be like blue underneath. <laughs> so it wasn't gonna match with everything like an electric blue. It wasn't gonna match with everything that I had. So we just decoupaged it and it looks really cute. I have this in my office because it's all Disney themed and it just makes me think of Disney every time I look at it. So our final Disney DIY fall decor may be my favorite. I don't know. It may be the ghost, actually. It's probably the Mickey ghost. But this is really close to that. A Boo Mickey ghost welcome mat. So this is actually done all with chalk paint. And this is a dollar that for this mat at the Dollar Tree. Um, so everything for this you can actually find right in my blog so i will link that below um but it, i include the stencil for this mickey ghost as well as these letters um but you can get really creative with this this is all done with just chalk paint and a chalk paint um brush but you can of course always do this with acrylic paint as well so this mickey boo welcome mat is a dollar to make and it's adorable and it is just the best thing to see when I walk into my house. So I hope that you guys got some inspiration from these DIYs on how you can bring some Disney into your fall decor. If you have any questions, make sure to throw them below because I am always here to help you with these DIYs because I know that sometimes they can get a little overwhelming. Um, but make sure you check out my blog where I have all the information about how to do these DIYs plus much more um, projects and all the different things that will help you bring some Disney magic into your days. Thank you so much for watching. And again, if you have not subscribed already, make sure you hit that button below and be sure to follow me on Instagram at Carmen Kismet. Thank you guys so much and have a great fall.